when I was about five or six, I started filling my pockets full of pebbles. My, my parents were, were at a bit of a loss with it. They would have me empty my pockets and it would just spill out with rocks. I'm a, I'm a geochemist, and geochemists are Earth scientists who look at planets and moons and other solar system bodies, including the Earth, as chemical reactors. We're interested in how chemistry forms and shapes the evolution of planets. And my field in particular is environmental mineralogy. So a lot of my work has to do with environmental remediation. So one thing that's been occupying my time for, wow, the last 11 years, is looking at how to trap carbon dioxide pollution from the atmosphere into rocks. So most of the carbon dioxide we've been emitting into the atmosphere is coming from burning material that's been extracted from the Earth's rock record. And over geological time, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere actually reacts with rocks to make new rocks that actually trap the carbon dioxide in a mineral. A lot of what we call pollution is really just us perturbing a natural element cycle. When human industry and human engagement you know, starts pumping one element into the atmosphere or the water or into an ecosystem, that's, it throws it out of balance and that's what we call pollution. So really what, what I'm trying to do is bring that element cycle back into balance using geochemical know-how. So what I'm working on is carbon dioxide sequestration, which aims to take that pollution out of the atmosphere using natural geological processes that are just sped up a little bit, using geochemical knowledge and putting them back into the rocky earth. So it's really just about learning what, what our limits are and how, how we interact with, with the environment because we're, as we're learning, it's not us versus nature. We're, we're part of it and we have to work with it.